Okay, so it's Friday and uh, we want to talk some tech. Spikey is here to bring us up to speed what's happening. Hello, Spikey. Hello. A day after the holiday. Yeah, it should have been today. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been today, it Charlie. Have been today. Or maybe should it, today should have been added to the holiday, so we have an extension. Uh, A very long weekend. Yeah. But we would have to come to work anyways. The people we are fighting for. <laughs> yeah. Tell us what's happening. So, you know Airbnb, mm -hmm. the company that is like a hotel with no hotels, yeah. you know, renting apartments with no apartments, mm -hmm. basically the Uber for houses. Exactly. Yes. exactly. I only discovered like uh, two months ago. Oh. I didn't know about Airbnb. Oh, I've known about Airbnb for years because friends and I, when we go out of town and we want to stay at places, getting a hotel can sometimes be expensive. Mm -hmm. But if you get on Airbnb, yeah. you can cohabitate in that space with your friends. You share guys the contribute, cost. share the cost, even cook. It's communal, it's fun, yeah. Yeah. you know, and it's affordable. And Airbnb says that even amid all the economic crises and things, prices going high, gas prices, they are experiencing high demand. We've got about 103.7 million bookings. Wow. Since, you know, wow. like June. Wow. And, that, and that, that's crazy. Like, well, it means that people are traveling. Mm -hmm. So post-COVID, we are seeing some recovery in the tourism sector. Yep, yep, and even in yep. Ghana, I, I understand that, you know, we've seen an increase in terms yeah. of the... Uh, Vistas we are recording. All right. That's good That's news. good news for them. Yep. Uber, what's happening to Uber? Same thing. <laughs> Uber is also experiencing... Okay, but, but that's the global picture, right? Global because picture. Because in Ghana, people are complaining that Uber is now expensive. Obviously, because we have fuel prices, you know, going up. And so, yeah, maybe globally... But locally, I, I really do not... I'll, I'll be interested in knowing what the figures are locally. Well, yeah, that would be very interesting. Also, considering the fact that the drivers are complaining in Ghana, for mm -hmm. example, that, hey, but the prices have not be, been adjusted mm -hmm. to favor us when it comes to the gas prices that are increasing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, there's that um, worry. But then it's, it's, it's understandable because you've got options. Who is going to be the first to increase their fares? That's going to direct all the customers all the, to the other platform. Yeah. So I would, I, I, would, I would advise that maybe all three platforms agree, you know, ready, set, go. But then if you have some... But then it, it, it brings to, you know, mind the issue about regulation of mm. that sector. I yeah. mean, it's long overdue. Government should move in and regulate how, you know, these online... Yeah, platforms. platforms. Yeah. 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 Right, uh, um, right hailing apps right -hailing and all apps, that. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think competition is good. So we benefit in the long run, because of competition, the consumers are benefiting, but that's forgetting that the drivers are also consumers yeah. and they are not benefiting. So yeah, but it's, it's, it's um, tough. I mean, talking about local content, it shatters, you know. Shaxi. Shaxi, how's it going? <laughs> um, I haven't taken one before. I only saw one like a week after it was announced, okay. but I haven't seen. Maybe it's about time. It's about time we develop our own, you know. You know, the thing about developing your own ride hailing app or any app like that is, it's, it's two-pronged. Okay. Who are, you need to get drivers and you need to get customers. Yeah. If you have customers but no drivers, you're losing. If you have drivers and no customers, you're losing because then they'll switch to the But I'm app. sure that if you have the drivers, if you have the cars, with publicity, with good strategy, you You'll are get the going customers. to get the customers. Yeah. Often it's, 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 the, it's the latter. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's it for tech. Well, the final The thing final one okay. is... Conjoined twins mm -hmm. join at the head were separated using virtual reality. I saw that story. Yeah. I saw that story on the BBC. But how, how exactly? So, you know, it was a very complicated surgery. Mm -hmm. And so they did CT scans, they did MRIs, and they recreated the whole situation, if I should put it like that, of the children mm -hmm. in a virtual reality platform and had surgeons from all over the world wearing VR headsets going through the procedure. Okay. So, you know, you're seeing, let's say you're in Europe somewhere, I'm in Africa, somebody's in Asia, mm -hmm. and we're all coming together to perform this surgery. I mean, first off, they did a lot of practice, mm -hmm. so they can't get anything wrong. Mm -hmm. And then all the other surgeons are then seeing the, the procedure going on and they're directing as it's happening in real time okay. because they're wearing the virtual reality headset. Okay, so we have the hands-on surgeons yes. and there are others who are joining via virtually. virtually. Yeah. I mean, okay. And they're getting all that you know, information in real time and for 27-hour surgery, internet did not mess them up. 
<laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go again. Spikey, thank you very much. For thank you for having me. Tech Talk on Newsday. Sports is up next.